Why hello, my name is Sky with Smart Poker Study. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your statistics a little bit more noticeable on the HUD and more useful. Check it out. All right, so on the screen in front of you is a six max table with my KISS HUD assigned to it. Uh, this is a simple 10 element HUD that I showed you how to build in that video linked right up above right there. But let's say you have this KISS HUD and you built it, but you're really uncomfortable. You feel overwhelmed by all the stats. So you decide to learn it one statistic at a time, which is how I recommend to learn any HUD or any HUD statistic, of course. Now, let's say your goal right now, tonight's session, you want to become better at using the three bet stat to analyze your opponent's range to make better decisions against their three bets. So there's two parts of this. First, we want to make the HUD stat more noticeable so it stands out, your eye is drawn to it. And then we want to make it more useful. So you're going to go up to HUD, Profiles, and you're going to select the KISS HUD. Now you can see all 10 elements right here, nice and simple, two columns, five rows, that kind of thing. Let's take a look at the 3-bet stat. Um, there's a couple of ways that I recommend to make it stand out. First, let's make the font bigger. Let's go up to 12 and let's see what happens. Bam, it increased in size. Lovely, very visible, right? We can hit apply to see what it looks like on the table as we're playing down here. Once it refreshes, nice. It's nice and big, right? But maybe it's not as visible as we'd want. I also recommend changing, first change the transparency for the background to false, so it's not a transparent background anymore. You can see how it's kind of like see-through behind the HUD down here. So transparency false, and let's choose everyone's favorite, salmon color. All right, look at that. Background is now salmon, larger font as well. Going to be super easy to spot this. Uh, your eye is going to be instantly drawn to it as you're playing, right? So if we look at this table once again, we go to it. We open raised, casito three bet. Bam, I look at that stat, three bet at 3%. Maybe now that'll help me uh, decide how to play against him with my 9-8 suited. So that's first, how to make your stat more noticeable. But let's make this stat more useful. Now, you may have put some thought into this. Maybe you realize that, hey, some players love three betting from the button. Other players love three betting from both blinds. Even other ones love three bet bluffing from the small blind. They do it all the time because it's a scary position to face a three bet from, right? Well, to make your stat more useful, you can include it in your HUD by position. So EP, MP, cutoff button. You can even do it by relative position. So in position or out of position. And you can do it by street. So some post-flop stats, you can look at them on the flop, the turn, or the river, of course. For three bet, let's see if we can't add some positional stats here. So you're gonna go to the plus button, add a new line that just puts a line down below, add statistic, and then type in the stat, three bet. Bam, all the three bet stats pop up. We want this bad boy. If we wanna add it by EP, MP, cutoff button, small blind, big blind, that's six stats that we need. So let's just double click it six times, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see all the stats are right in line down below. Now to make things a little bit nicer, let's go ahead and center all of the stats. So within each column, they're centered instead of aligned to the left. So you can see they move over a little bit right there. Now, we definitely don't want six total three bets in, right? Because right now that's what it is. Each of these are set to all positions. So let's set this first one to the EP here. And let's give it a little prefix. Let's just go EP with a space bar. So if we click this, you can see, bam, EP with a space pops up and then there's our percentage. The next one is MP. cut off button and we'll give it everyone's favorite BTN small blind of course is going to be SB here and ultimately we know this bad boy the big blind Cool. So now there's all of our stats, all six of them lined out for us. Let's hit apply. Let's see what it looks like on the table. Now I'm not a big fan of it. We could do this. And so, you know, the stats are there down below. Same thing here, you know, move this stuff around to make it work. 
but I kind of don't like that, right? I already have five rows and I just added six. Let's adjust it so they go down instead of, or from top to bottom instead of from left to right. So all you're gonna do is click and drag. Let's move EP up top, MP next, cut off, button, small blind. So as you can see, bam, all of our stats, all of our three bet stats by position right here. But the big blind's all the way on the left. How do we get it on the right? Well, we just simply add a text, hit a space bar, add another text, space bar. So let's grab this and move it to the right of that. Bam, those are two empty spaces now. We have all six of our positional stats right there for us. Let's hit apply. See if we like this look a little bit better instead of a, kind of like a wraparound stat or HUD. There we go. I like that a bit more so we can kind of move things around however we might want around the table to make it more uh, visu visually appealing for us. Oh, let's do that. That bad boy goes down there. That doesn't really overlap in that one there. Perfect, right? If that's the placement that we like and we like the stats that are on it, bam, we're just going to come up here, hit save layout. So every time we open one of these six max tables, here is our kiss HUD with the positional three bet stats on it. Now, of course, Let's say that you do this for a time, you work through three bets, you do it for three different days, and you love the HUD at that point. No, I, just, I don't want to say love the HUD. You learn how to use the stat, but now you want to focus on a different stat. Well, you just have to undo what we did. So just take all these and just hit the delete key. Bam, they're gone right there. And just delete them, save it again. And then maybe now you want to work on PFR or you want to work on CBET flop. Do the exact same thing. Add stats in, make them more no noticeable, however you see fit. However, this is going to help you make your decisions on the felt. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and leave a little thumbs up down below. I appreciate it. And good luck on the felt and learning your HUD. Take care.